The legend of the lost gold of Juarez has been passed from one generation to the next since the time of Hernando Cortez. It was said to be the ransom for Montezuma, held hostage by the Spanish in the great Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan. The treasure disappeared soon after the sacking of the city. Some believe it's buried near the border town of Juarez. The legend relates that the Aztec sun god put a curse on that treasure. All who seek it will find only madness in their own perdition. This avaricious madness has come to be known as the Call of Juarez. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new series here on the channel. Today we are starting Call of Juarez. My only experience with this franchise is I watched Jehovah's Witness. Shout out to Hova played Call of Juarez Gunslinger, which is the newest and last game in the series. I think it came out in like 2013. I bought all three games in a bundle on Steam. If that sale is still happening, I'd recommend picking them up because a lot of these games have pretty high praises, except for the fourth game, which was not even included in the bundle because the developer doesn't even want to acknowledge it exists. And according to Jarek the Gaming Dragon, shout out to Jarek because I'm just throwing out shout outs to YouTubers that don't know I exist in this intro. It's also one of the worst games ever made. That was Call of War as Cartel. We just aren't even going to acknowledge that one exists, just like the developer. With that said, if you want to see the rest of these games and more on this game specifically, leave that like and sub down below. But let's just hop into the game. I'm Billy. Ma, I'd never say who my father was, so I don't got no last name. She gave me this medallion before I could talk. It's engraved with a candlestick, so that's what the kids call me. Candle. Eat spick or pepper gut. Yeah, my mom's from Mexico. The town I grew up in is just over the border, and the folks there are mostly white. Like my stepfather, Thomas. A big, mean son of a bitch who just as soon backhand me as look at me. I grew up in a town called Hope. Pretty much the most hopeless place I've ever seen. It's full of drunks and drifters and thieves and liars. And those are the leading citizens. Like my dear stepfather, who knocked the tar out of me at least once a day, rain or shine. He said he was teaching me how to be a man, but all he taught me is how to take a beating. Last time he laid a hand on me was over two years ago. I took off and didn't look back. Left to find my fortune. The legendary Colt of Juarez. I wanted to prove to that SOB that I could be more than he ever was. But the world's a hard place. I didn't find squat. I did meet a girl, though. Molly. Damn, she was pretty. It didn't work out, though. Her dad saw to that. So now I'm back, hungry, broke. I don't have nothing, not even a last name. Okay, we had a bit of a hiccup with the graphics. They all completely reset and I was str I was playing on like, really low graphic settings. Go to Thomas and Marissa's farm, okay? And yeah, the compass in the top right, O is objective, L is log, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about that, I already played this part. So, Spacebar to jump, understood, pretty standard. Well, there it is. Hope. A haven for outlaws, assholes, and hypocrites. Hey, press L for logs. Now we're good. Do I just fall down? Is this the way I'm supposed to go? It just gives me an objective, an objective marker on the compass. It doesn't really tell me to go anywhere specifically or to take a certain path. So, like I said, this game came out in like 2006. Good place to practice some shooting. Game came out in like 2006, so a lot of the settings are pretty bare bones or all or nothing. I have an ability to change my sensitivity, but it's pretty ballpark on what he wants you to play with, and then... What the heck are you doing? This is private property. Okay, okay, easy. Welcome to Call of War's tutorial. Follow the instructions to learn the basic rules and movement of the game. Press any key to continue. On the roof of the barn behind the house is a weapon stash. Open it and get the gun. Stay away from Jones. It appears my my crouch button unbound itself. Okay. 
I think I have all the settings that I need to know about in the right place now, hopefully. Because otherwise, this is going to be an oof. The sneak press shift. When you enter the bushes, you are near invisible. Q or E to lean, okay, pretty standard stuff. I mean, well, if I'm hidden, why, why is homeboy looking? Okay, no, homeboy went back to what he was doing. Also, why do I know there's a weapon stash back here? Climb on top of the bar and place a box near the wall. Does he know about me? It's like that. Okay. Now that you have a gun, you don't need to be afraid of Jones. You can get down and practice shooting. Try to hit the bottles placed on the box. Press any key to continue. Well, I mean, I thought there was an aim down sight model, but nope, that's that's how you shoot. What barrels? Stand behind the barrels and try to hit the bottles on top of the box. Perfect, you have completed your next task, you have learned the basics of movement in the game, now you can move on. Wanted Dead or Alive, Adrian Sikora. 10,000 reward in cold coin. Found cards, game 140, episode 104. Ah, oh, okay, I see. There's one of 40 in the entire game, and there's four in this episode. The eighth of the Magnificent Seven. Magnificent Seven, he rode in from nowhere to ride back to where he came from. The third of the Bybee Brothers... His doings in Call of War has seemed like nothing in comparison to the rest of the outlaws, but he still deserves a noose around the neck. Okay, and those aren't anything? Alright, this game does have secrets. I know that much. I need to recheck. Nope, there is no aim down sight option, but I did lower my sensitivity to the lowest setting because... This is fast. You zoom in around this axis. All right, wolf bad, understood. I can't shoot the dead wolf body because morality reasons, but I also can't loot the wolf because I guess it's not that type of game. All right, let's keep going and see where this takes us. I'm here to see the one person on earth who ever gave a damn about me. My ma. Other than my stepfather, there's three some bitches in particular I hope to avoid. Tim Powell, our sheriff. Who always thought I was up to no good, even when I wasn't. Clyde Forrester, owner of the Grand Saloon and meanest peckerhead you ever seen. Then there's the biggest bastard of them all, my stepfather's brother, Reverend Ray, the most self-righteous son of a bitch who ever picked up a Bible. Uh, I don't know what that was. I guess a load zone? I don't know if that started a new chapter or if that was just a load zone. I do not know how this game works yet, so in order to put this away... How do I... Okay, I guess that's how. That's not the key that's bound to, but... Here we are, whatever. Alright, let's head into town. This apparently is hope.
My, my. Billy Candle. Been a long time, boy. Sheriff. I don't think Thomas will be too pleased to see you. You come back to set things right with him? I'm just here to see my mom. Well, before you go out there, I think you better give me your gun. Hand it over. But sure. Drop it, boy. That is the wrong button. Fine. Welcome back. Just don't do anything stupid, son. I'm not your son. Thank God for that, boy. Thank God for that. Hit me with the Captain McMillan. Don't do anything stupid. I just got to right. town and the sheriff's already on my ass. Son of a bitch. I Damn, just got, I got that to gun too. Ha! <laughs> Objective, get a gun. You got a gun? You got a gun, brother? You look just like that, dude. Press O for objective. Now nah, I know my objective. Look at those hombres. They look like trouble. What, are they like the tunnel snakes of the town? Are they gonna pick on me when I walk by? Billy Candle, is that you? Boy, you're growing like a weed. Stand still. Let me take a measure. Hmm. Just in case. You want to see me plant it already? Well, now. Looks like you're as tall as Reverend Ray. Um. Surprisingly, I learned that from Back to the Future Part 3 whenever they were measuring Clint Eastwood for a casket. Apparently that was a common practice. They would just take measurements for caskets. Kind of weird, but it is what it is. Ow, shit. Well, Billy Candle, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Susie, she keeps a gun in her drawers. I'm pissed at you, Billy. Here in town and you don't come to see your old friend Susie? Hey, I just got in. I was planning on coming by. <laughs> yeah, right. Billy's planning things now. Get your skinny butt up here before I change my mind. I mean, damn, with the amount of cutscenes that we're getting, or the amount of, like, exposition scenes we're getting, Billy must be one of the most popular people in video games. Also, you're pretty far away, Susie. How did you know it was me? Also, I'm a good Christian boy. There better not be any tomfoolery up here. I just need so your gun. Far, so good. Just, just need the good no Christian gun. So be Forrester. Yep, just going up to talk uh -oh. to... Can I help you? Speak. Think you're going, boy? Hope you don't think you're getting lucky. <laughs> Not unless you've got some money. Relax, Clyde. I'm just here to say hello. Your balls will be saying hello to my boot in a second, boy. You want a piece of Susie? You gotta pay, muchacho. Um. No money. No honey. No money. No honey. I mean, this game is like 18. I don't know what year this is. We're just gonna say 1875. Seems relatively accurate for what I can gather. Surprisingly, that still rule that same rule still applies today. Because half the uh, DMs I get in dating apps and shit are talking about asking for money. There's a case over here. What's in here? Okay. Is there a reason for this? Can I use this as a weapon? Can I just chuck this at homeboy up there? Will this get the sheriff on me? In this game, we do not allow the harming of innocent civilian horses or corpses. Breaking this rule caused the game to end. Alright, my bad, my bad. Damn, the code of conduct got me. This guy's kind of a dickhead, though. Alright, my bad. Had to change some options real quick. I want everything to make sense in terms of audio, but the music is just insanely loud. Like, the music is on the lowest setting that I can give, and it's just insanely loud anyway. I talk to you, brother? No? How do I make money, then? What's my objective? Go to steal Susie's gun. Alright, so do we sneak past him? I don't... Necessarily understand the point. No, oh, no, put that down. I'm trying to close the door. Psst. 
Billy, go to the window round back. Why don't you just go tell your homeboy to let me in? Like, why do I gotta be doing all the sneaking? It's not like I'm cheating on my wife. Flat busted, huh? Should have known. Thought you were gonna find the gold of Juarez. Well, maybe you can find a rope to get your ass through this window. But don't raise a ruckus. I must be out of my mind. I mean, brother, I've been in town for... I, I don't know how long, because I've been recording for like 20 minutes, but that can't be right. I've been in town for like maybe seven minutes. I'm already on, like, some boner activity. Wait, she said find a rope. Where, where... <laughs> where... Where am I going to find a rope at, Susie? It doesn't really tell me. Does the log say anything? Maybe you can find a rope. Oh. And I'm sure just taking this rope won't make someone mad. This whip will do just fine. Oh, it's a whip. Excuse me, horse. Ha! <laughs> Alright, sure. Press to catch <laughs> some of them? What? What does that mean? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Once you catch a branch to release the whip when hanging. Alright, that's cool. That's a cool mechanic. Hi, Susie. Shh. Wait here. I'll be back in a minute. I want to make sure Clyde is occupied. In the meantime, why don't you wash off some of that trail dust? Alright. Where the hell's that Derringer? Find the gun before Susie gets back. Uh, wanted dead or alive, Lukas's Adzinski. $10,000 reward in cold coin. Wanted for being a member of the Brotherhood of Perpetual Marketing and conspiring with the CGI artist because of this two-phase behavior. He's sometimes mistaken as one of the Bybee brothers suspended in making fake boxes and some Techline products. Alright, so are all of these just, like, employees of Techland? It's not loaded. Damn it, Susie, where do you keep the bullets? Clyde's occupied with Joanne, so we got some time to get reacquainted. But, but we best keep our voices down, darling. So you never found the family jewels? Maybe I can help. Susie, I've been in town oh, for nine my. minutes. You have grown. Thought I heard you in here. You got an itch that needs scratching, boy? How about you let old Clyde take care of it? I'm just... He... What's my objective? Uh, there is no objective. I guess we're just getting out. You're not getting away that easy! A half hour with Susie for anybody who can get his hands on that little greaser. I'd skin that boy alive. For a Sneak taste away of that from the town. Roger Dodger, brother. I'm gone. I'm off the scenery. Here. Hold on. What do you think? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Y'all y'all got it misunderstood. Why are y'all mad at me? Clyde is the one that makes you pay for sex. I was just I was just here doing stuff. I'm just here to see my ma. This seems like a really counterintuitive way to get down, but I Oh my god, they are shooting the hell out of me. Mama, I need a band-aid. My goodness, they are hurting me. Alright, so we go up here and not down. Understood, kind of? 
Did that heal me? I can't see. There's like a little icon in my bottom right corner. I don't know if that healed me or not. I mean, homie, this is like escaping Las Almas in Modern Warfare 2. If we keep going this way, Rodriguez is gonna get sniped. I would be lying if I said I understood how that mechanic works. Like, I don't think that's how I'm supposed to be doing that technically, but it's, it's what I can figure out, so... Let's keep going and get out of here. This is Crazy Frank's place. Lost his mind in the war. He's half a bubble off plum, nuttier than a bed bug. If someone in this town has ammo, it's Crazy Frank. Find ammunition for the gun. You mean my Derringer two barrel pistol that can't hit shit past like six feet? Look, Lucy, it's Billy. Well, boy, did you find the gold? There is no gold. The gold of Juarez. It's a fairy tale, okay? It don't exist. Right, I get it. Mom's the word. Yep, funnily how the crazy dude is the guy that's the nicest person we've met so far. You wanna far. take what's mine? One more step and Lucy will blow your head clean off. Alright, it appears I spoke way too soon. So what's the point here? Is there a back way into Homeboy's house that I'm just not seeing? Or are we supposed to just duck in the grass until he's gone? What do you want to do with this little thief? Me and Lucy, we shot men, women, and children. So we sure as hell can shoot a lowlife like you. Hello? Take back, you bastard. I mean, you got me. You got me, Crazy Frank. Oh, crazy old coot. I mean, we did steal from him. And it seems like we were destined to, uh, get caught regardless of the situation, so I'm not really sure why we failed the first time after we got caught, but... It is how it is, I guess. Damn, we've been in this game and in this town and this general area for about 30 minutes and we've made so many enemies. But at least we have bullets for our little ass gun. There it is. The only home I ever knew. Bet Mom's cooking dinner right now. Baking biscuits, making stew. I can almost smell it. Thomas! You get away from her, you bastard! You hear me? I'll kill you! <laughs> 